What is popping, my YouTube fam? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. On the menu today, y'all, we gonna do something real cute, but real delicious and real simple. I see the thing is, I'm so spontaneous. I woke up today. I was like, I want to take some turkey drumsticks. I got these drumsticks, right? I was like, I got these drumsticks in my freezer. I want to do something with them. What I'm gonna do, y'all, is clean them up nice and good. They right here, clean them up nice and good. And I'm going to tuck them bad boys in foil packets. Real nice and cute. Got me some uh, nice heavy duty foil right here. And this is what is going to go in the foil packet. Or excuse me, let me rephrase that. This is what I'm going to season my turkey with. Um, check them out. These is all the seasonings. If y'all watch my channel, do y'all know I love to play around with my seasonings, honey? I'm never going to keep it the same. So right here we have, so um, the three of them I'm going to do with regular butter, y'all. And then mine I'm going to do with the um, plant-based butter because I really just don't want to ingest like all that butter. Um, so I like to use the plant-based for me. Um, right here we have some uh, fresh garlic. I know, I know, I know. Ain't y'all proud of me? I'm finally, I'm not going to be lazy. I'm going to add a couple of fresh garlic cloves in each packet. I have some... I uh tricolor uh bell pepper bell peppers here. I don't know which color I'm gonna use. I don't even know if I'm gonna use bell pepper. Mm, I don't know. Um, right here I have an onion. We're definitely putting in a couple of slices of onion. Right here for the seasoning, I have some rosemary leaves. If you have fresh rosemary, I don't do you put it in there. Um, I'm gonna play around with this bourbon peach though by Kinder's because Kinder's is the truth. I also got this turkey seasoning bomb.com. And last but certainly not least, y'all, I am definitely going to rub this with my all-purpose sweet and smoky barbecue rub. Link is in the description below. Get y'all some if y'all like to barbecue. Listen, baby, the way that this about to coat that meat and what I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to coat my meat with this first just so y'all can see how beautiful. This is really all that you need, but I'm extra and I'm having fun today. But y'all, I think this is it for now. Um, if I add anything else, I'll definitely let you guys know. But y'all, turkey, drumsticks, let's freak them. Let's, let's, I just feel like when you cook turkey, drumsticks in a foil pack, that it just retains a lot of moisture, a lot of flavor. So I'm thinking that these are going to be bomb, y'all. And to be honest... I don't even know if I'm even going to do a side dish. I just probably want a big, nice hunk of tender seasoned meat. That's it. But stay tuned, y'all. Let's get these turkey drumsticks washed and cleaned. And let's get to seasoning. Stay tuned. All right, fam. Let's get to seasoning up these beautiful um, turkey drums. And like I said, I'm going to use my barbecue rub because I do want these a little sweet. I do want them a little smoky. I'm having fun. Now y'all, the thing that I'm so like mad about because it seems like every time I try to cook and got the taste for something, I never got all the ingredients I need. Because really y'all how I want to freak these, like I wanted to put I I think I do have some sage cuz I do want to give it like a little Thanksgiving flair, but I'm like, you know what? Forget it. If I ain't got the um poultry seasoning, let me get this feather off that I missed. If I ain't got the poultry seasoning, y'all, then forget it. But I was like, dang, these would have been bomb. I was like, these would have been bomb if I would have had uh my poultry seasoning, put a little sage and kind of just give it like a Thanksgiving flavor type of thing. But that's the thing about food. You can like do what you want to do, have fun with it. Um, I might double back, make some more for y'all, just incorporating all the Thanksgiving uh, flavor. But y'all, when I tell y'all I'm so in love with my rug, like, oh, the smell, baby, smoky, sweet. And the thing is about my rug, it's like you could go heavy. It's like the heavier you go, the more flavor comes out. But I just wanted y'all to see how this rub coats. And baby, you can smell the flavors. How this rub coats the meat. And usually what I'll do, like if I'm barbecuing or whatever, I usually like to let it marinate. In this case, you really don't, you don't really have to, but I mean, hey, let it marinate for more flavor. So I'm just rubbing this in. 
Rubbing it in. Rubbing it in. Rubbing it in. Love this color already. Just making sure everything is rubbed in and nice and massaged, y'all. Yes. So now, look at that. It don't. It's so easy. Don't overthink it. Rub it in and let it go. Look at that. This is really all the seasoning that you need, but I'm taking it up another notch. Why not? Why not? Why not? I'm having fun in my kitchen. Why not? Why not? Hope everybody is doing spectacular out there in YouTube land. If you are not subscribed, I'm not too sure what you are waiting for. It is free. You guys are watching the videos, but you guys are not subscribing. Uh, but you're watching. Let's add some of this. So now I'm just going to add this like this. And you know, y'all, if y'all... Y'all know me. I do not measure. I'm definitely about to play around with this uh, bourbon peach because I, I don't know what it is. But listen, the ancestors is telling me, Tish, go ahead and put a little bit of that bourbon peach on there. That's all I'm hearing. And then we go use some rosemary because like rosemary and turkey, yes, Happily ever after a marriage. And don't worry about now if you want to soften your butter and like massage your butter in at this point, go right ahead. I'm not. I want to add in little chunks of butter. So as it cooks, I guess it really don't matter, y'all. It really, it just really don't matter. It just really don't. You could melt it, soften it. Put them in the chunks. It really don't matter. But I know it's going to be somebody out there that's going to say it does matter. Um, but it really don't. For me. For me. For you? Maybe. For me? No. But. Simple. Easy. Flavor. What are we talking about here? What are we talking about? We about to wrap this up in foil. Okay. And we're going to put some onions Matter of fact, I don't even think I'm doing bell peppers, y'all. We're going to wrap this up with a little bit of onion, some butter, chopping some uh, uh, garlic clove. And then by the time it's done roasting, that garlic clove is going to be nice and roasted and soft. And I'm just going to squeeze that just all and rub it all up in there midway through. But y'all, this is what it's looking like. Like I said, if you want to go ahead and let it marinate, go right ahead. I ain't got time. I'm going to get this right in the foil. So I'm going to show you guys what it's hitting for when I get it in the foil. Stay tuned. All right, y'all. Let's get to wrapping our, and yes, I added a little bit of extra seasoning. I added a little bit of extra of the turkey seasoning, and I added a little bit of extra of the, um, of my barbecue rub. So now what I'm going to do is legit just throw that clove up in there and let it roast right with it. Um, I'm going to throw on two hunks in there. Okay. And, and y'all wait. Okay. And there go my onion that I just sliced like that. Nothing major. Y'all, y'all know what have been had, would have been good, but I think I'm gonna say that for the next video when I do like a Thanksgiving flavor, kind of, um, turkey drum or whatever is I'm going to do, um, like celery, would have just it just would have been more flavor. It would it just would have been so good. So y'all, this is this is it. But something in me, because y'all know, y'all know. Now I'm probably gonna lose a couple of y'all with this. Oh shoot, I don't even think I got. I don't even think I got where they at. Okay, I blaze myself, y'all, because I don't even see them in. They way back here. Hold on. Oh, y'all, because I don't know what it is, but a part of me, a part of me, and I think I'm just going to add it to two because I'm playing around with flavors because I could do that because this is my kitchen. But why I think I'm going to add some um, mild banana pepper. I just got to. I don't know what I feel like that's going to do for that, but I just feel like it's going to be bomb. So, y'all. 
that's it. I don't think I'm adding bell pepper. Um, but listen, y'all, feel free to add bell pepper. And I'm going to be completely honest with y'all. I'm not adding in bell pepper because I don't feel like cutting bell pepper. First of all, this is already starting a little late. So I'm trying to get it done. Y'all know I'll be rushing cooking. Let me add another little piece of garlic on that. Y'all, I don't know. This going to be fine. This going to be fine. Hold on. Hold on for a second. Hold on for a second. Because I'm thinking... Should I relax? I should just relax. I should just relax. No, I'm going to add in. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Because what I think I'm going to add is a little bit of pepper. And then I like to see. Hold on. I think I'm going to add a little bit of pepper. That's all. That's all. A little bit of pepper on top. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. I'm not adding no more, y'all. Calm down. I'm not adding no more. So now I'm just about to wrap these up, y'all. I'm not going to bore y'all with that. I'm going to wrap these up. But again, feel free to have fun. Like, I would even do... Listen, I know I, I know that I'm losing a lot of y'all, but I would even freak one with, like, onions and mushrooms. I love mushrooms. Like, how could that be wrong? A tender seasoned turkey drum. Buttery as heck with onions and mushrooms smothered. Like, What? fire so let's hurt let me shut up let me shut up and let me get this in the oven bye stay tuned okay fam here is the so these have been in there for probably about maybe about uh i would say about mm, about an hour 45 wrapped up tight and like i said everybody oven is going to be different so you know i have a 24 inch oven I had it on three, I had the oven on 375 and these were in probably for about, I want to say maybe about an hour 45, but look y'all, I'm telling you, this is, the, it, listen, listen to me. Do y'all see this? And they smell so, look at this. Wow. 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 So now y'all, what we about to do to get a nice crispy skin, I'm about to open up all these packets just like this i'm not even gonna rotate them i don't i'm not even gonna rotate it we're just gonna get a nice crispy skin and i'm thinking i'm actually debating because i don't want my turkey dried out so what i think i'm gonna do is just run it underneath the broiler okay i'm gonna open up the packets and i'm gonna put these bad boys under the broiler just to get a little bit more color and just to get that skin nice and crispy okay y'all but these are done these are juicy these are buttery these are tender when you take it out of the foil y'all all that juice that ran to the bottom take that juice and just re-pour it over oh my god you can even take it y'all and just flip it and just even flip uh each one just to, you know, if you want to, like after you broil this side, take it and flip it. I know I'm not doing that because I don't feel like it. You smell this? Don't this smell so good? Look how tender. Look at this. I was showing the fam how tender. Look how tender that is. Look at that. Look how tender that is. Ooh, that's good. Why are you all trying to sound off uh, proper? Here, taste this. That piece right there. See that finger. You should have dipped it in a butter juice. No, I'll wait for that. How that taste? You gonna wait for the butter juice? Mm -hmm. Great, y'all. Okay, somebody said it's great. Let's crisp up this skin.